Hello everyone, my name is Nathan, you're watching The Leviathan, and welcome to Escape the Great Below. Now this is another game created for the Asylum Game Jam 2016, and uh, I have no idea what it's about. I'm assuming it's something asylum-y, something scary -y, I don't know, because all the other ones have been horror games, so this has something to do with it. Obviously it has something to do with the ocean, you can see the bubbles rising from the depths, where there's probably monsters that want to eat our little guts. And stuff, and I don't know how to get into this game. Do I just start moving? Um, hello? How, do, how does one play? Do I click? Oh, okay. What was that? Is that a body? Okay. I, I, I didn't look at the controls, so this is going to be a little difficult. Okay. I can kind of turn. Oh, it's a piano. Okay. Okay, and, and that's a dead body, I'm, I'm guessing. Okay, this is this is interesting. Let me mess with my volume here for a second. It's it's a little too quiet. Okay, there. Now, now we can hear the hearts pounding fast. Okay, so this is a, a over-the-top shooter. I guess we're probably at the end of the... This is probably our flashlight, and we're at, like, the end swimming, maybe. It's hard to tell because I can't see anyone there, but it kind of looks like there might be something there. Why does my light keep going out? Why do people keep using terrible lights? And this appears to be the edge of the map. Interesting. So we can't expect too much. Once again, a lot of these type of games, you know, you, you need to look at them and, and recognize that, you know, they're made in 48 hours. So you can't expect too much. Oh, and hey, man, you, you died like waving or whatever. Okay, why is my heart beating so much now? And I can't move. Why, why, can't, why, why can't I move? Did I? Oh, did oh, oh! I must have a certain amount of breath, or something, because I think I drowned. I drowned. I dust drowned. Okay, so apparently we died there, because we're foolish. I'm not sure how long this will actually take the finish, but the fact that we're trying to escape, I'm assuming we're out of. Uh, we we have a certain amount of oxygen to do this in. So let's get to this. I was wasting so much time last time just searching around. I I think that's what happened. I, I would. I don't think it was anything else. I don't think I like got caught by any creature. I don't know if there is any creature. Maybe it's just a maze. And stop doing that to me, you stupid light. Ah, man. So are we on a ship that sunk? That would be my assumption, because there's like a piano here. There's like two pianos here. and a I can't swim over the dead bodies, which is a little frustrating. Um, so I'm going to have to find way around. Can I, can I get through here? Okay. I think I can get past the things. If, if I'm that little dot at the bottom where like the camera connects, then I am really small compared to all these dead bodies and whatever that is. Is that like a, a metal or is that an instrument of some sort? I, it's hard to tell. Whoa, get away from me. Get away from me, you piano. Piano of death and destruction and murderizing. Okay, this might actually not be that long of a recording at all if we eventually escape here. But that, that's fine, you know. I, I, I'm planning on uploading a couple recordings. Can I get get off here? Oh, I can. I think we're going to die, though. Where, where are we? Are we escaping the great below? Oh, no, my light's going out. Did we die? I felt like we made it somewhere, though. I felt, I felt like we did something. Okay, so, like... I'm assuming we died there. Like, I'm, I'm hoping they have some sort of signal that you actually escape, that there's actually a way to win. Um, so we're going to do that again. Um, I'm surprised there's not creatures that attack us. I would have I thought that there would be sharks or, or monsters of some sort that would be after our, our little um, tasty bits and chasing us down, trying to gobble us up and, and stuff as, as we drowned. This person can apparently hold their breath for a long time, too, because, man, like, two minutes before you die. But then again, I think I've held my breath two minutes. Pretty sure. I used to actually be pretty good at holding my breath underwater and stuff, but, I mean, that's just sitting there, not just swimming. The second you start swimming, it becomes a lot more difficult than, ooh, is this the edge? Uh, let me see, my friend. Okay. Oh, I can see myself. Did we do it? Did we escape? Did we survive? <sighs> ah, oxygen fills our lungs as we escape the great blow, apparently. Okay, that was a lot shorter than I was expecting. Hmm. 
Okay. Apparently, apparently we did that. Um, overall, it was it was interesting. Uh, the the idea and concept I think was a good a good concept and stuff. The only issue I had is I felt like it it was not that hard to escape once you realize what you needed to do. The first time I just sat around and I was trying to I was messing with my volume. I was looking around just trying to figure out what was going on. I didn't even know that what the controls were exactly, and so. Uh, I died because it just took me too long and stuff and I ran out of oxygen. Second time I got stuck on a few things and tried to find my way out. I kind of went the wrong direction at first. So that's why I died. I think I actually made it to that point where I just had to swim a little bit further and I would have made it out, but then I, I didn't because I had just taken a little bit too long getting there. So, and then the last time it was so quick getting out. Um, like, I think the issue I have with it is that it needs a little bit more stuff added. Like, I, I'm surprised there's not monsters or anything like that. Like, you're literally just swimming and there's a little bit of dead bodies everywhere. You're bumping into them and stuff. But overall, it's not that, um, like, it's not scary because there's nothing chasing you. There's nothing really the the affect you. The only thing is you might get trapped in an area where there's some bodies and stuff and it just takes a couple times before you know what direction to head. So I think this is an interesting start, but I think it has a long way to go before it's actually really good. Um, the art style is fine and stuff. I actually like the art style and stuff. Um, it would have been nice if you could see your person a little bit better. Like I, I didn't even realize that there was a person down there holding the flashlight until like we actually made it out and then you could kind of see through the light and stuff your person. But I, because like, and what doesn't make sense is you can't, swim over bodies but you can swim between bodies that only your flashlight can fit through but not like if you knew where your person was your person would be clipping through people like uh, um so i don't understand how that that works how you can't swim over people but you can swim between areas that you really couldn't fit and stuff but uh, overall that that was interesting well done um once again these type of games you have to judge them differently because they're made in such a short amount of time um and usually they're made by early game developers and stuff um, just trying to test their skill and stuff and so overall like I, I like the concept and stuff it just needs it needs some work and stuff and uh, so if for some reason the game developer watches this which I, I'm no way expecting that they will but if they do uh, way to go I hope you keep working on this and and, and uh, keep making games and stuff and I'd love to play more stuff from you in the future um, and if you enjoy this video please feel free to leave a like or comment letting me know um, I, I do apologize it's so short um, I do think I'm gonna upload two videos the next couple days like uh hopefully I, I might be able to upload two tomorrow so you might only see one if this is the only video that goes up but i'll try to do two tomorrow and then maybe two the day after that because i'm trying to make up for the fact that i missed a couple days this last week due to finals and stuff which are kind of finally over i just need to finish one other final and, and i'll be good and i just just focus on videos and stuff and hopefully get some videos that have been taking forever out of the way i want to i want to kind of dedicate two days the finish um um shit, uh, child of light the finish child of light and stuff just because it's been so long i, I want to first watch a couple of my videos just to get kind of an understanding of where we were the voices and everything and then it's going to take a long freaking time to get through it and stuff and that game might even have an update which would make it even longer do i need to check that out but uh thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this um let's do this again sometime bye what <laughs> that was freaking ghost hands. I told you this was supernatural. Or is it like the rider dude? Is is he back from the previous game? Stop it with your mo moaning. Just 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 stay in here. They they won't find you. The door's opening, I know, but they won't find you. Okay. Apparently he didn't find me. What the? <laughs> 